There's one problem with this measurement. I don't know how much a ton of TNT is, and neither do you. Why would you use this to exaggerate energy if no one knows how much it is? I can't even give an estimate as to how much it is. My guess is anywhere from destroying a building to destroying a city. Energy is generally a hard thing to visualize, but why use something that the average person has no idea about? Use the energy released by burning a ton of coal or something, not TNT, something most people have never seen before. Wow, there are a lot of dumb measurements of energy. Okay, so the main problem with joules is that it's way too small to be useful. Can we multiply these by 10 or replace it with a calorie or something? The main reason we have people using ridiculous things like tons of TNT is because one ton of TNT is this many joules. Th this number should not exist while talking about things on this small of a scale. Okay, so there are two different units here. Kilometers and hours. I can't visualize how long a kilometer is, and I can't visualize how long an hour is. This has the opposite effect of joules. It's too big to be useful. And the worst thing is, it has a very easy counterpart to switch to. See, the good thing about this is that I can visualize a meter, and I can visualize a second. Okay, so I don't even have a problem with how big or small or whatever. I'm just mainly concerned with the name. Why isn't it called a megagram? It sounds way cooler. So these two measurements have Kelvin and Rankine counterparts, which are way better. To demonstrate this, I'll, I'll ask you a question. Well, did you get negative 86.575 degrees? This is just because at zero degrees Celsius, there is still heat. Negative temperatures don't mean negative heat. In order to do multiplication and division, the zero mark must be placed appropriately, which is what Kelvin and Rankin do. Re really, astronomers? Was a light year not good enough for you? A parsec is just three light years. You, you didn't need to create a new unit. A parsec is the distance from us to an astronomical object that moves one arc second when we view it from opposing ends of our orbit. Uh, I, I don't think I need to explain why this is a stupid unit. Cool name though. So some dude made a chain and you based your measurements off of that because your previous ones weren't confusing enough. An acre is one chain by ten chains. No, 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 not ten square chains. That specific rectangle. A week is seven days, which is horrible. Seven is a prime number. You can't divide your week nicely. Seven does not factor into 31 or 30. However, it does fit into February nicely three-fourths of the time. Speaking of months, there are four different lengths of months. Four. You can't really do much with 365, a number with only four factors, but you can definitely do better than four different lengths of months. I suggest a 24-day month and a 15-month year, with five of the months being 25 days and a six-day week. Way less confusing.